In this Minecraft world, we can farm the animals for their mob armor, which gives us crazy effects like being able to swim super fast like a salmon and also be able to safely fall from max height with chicken boots. And we also get to infiltrate the cows and the pigs with this cow chest plate and pig helmet. I never thought that all these animals in Minecraft were actually wearing armor, but it turns out they are. And in this world, we can actually get the armor from the mobs by taking them out. So we're gonna run around and collect all of the mob armor. For now, we're gonna start with the pigs here. I'm sorry, but you have to be sacrificed for the sake of testing out your skin. Get them. And right there, we can see we got ourselves the pork helmet throw this thing on and we got ourselves the pig head now it should do something interesting or provide us a little bit of armor but also there we can see the pig is actually following us around i wonder if we go to more pigs if they will all keep following us let's go find a few more pigs somewhere else look this pig's running all the way from the village over to me right now let's see if these other pigs come this way too there's a whole lot of animals here oh my gosh <laughs> they're all crowding around running this direction it's like an army of pigs behind me all of them trying to keep up i'm sorry guys but i'm turning on you thank you for delivering me your helmets because we can also use these helmets if we want to to actually make some bacon go in here and get ourselves a furnace real fast and set that down and then put the helmet in the furnace and we can cook bacon out of the pork helmet. A delicious piece of bacon fried up and ready to eat just like that. Three hunger bars up on that piece of bacon. So as long as I'm wearing this helmet, then all of these pigs are gonna be confused, come to me and I can just farm them for their bacon helmets. If that is the pig though, what else can we get from these mobs? Let's give this cow a test right here. I'm sorry, but again, another sacrifice must be made for the sake of entertainment. A cow chest plate. I'm starting to look like a cow, no helmet, but unlike the pig helmet, this chest plate doesn't cause these cows to come after me. They don't wanna follow me around. They're not as convinced because they could still see my head. I gotta figure out what this cow chest plate does because what do cows do that I could do because I have the chest plate? Or is it just for armor? Oh, guys, if I'm crouching and walking through the grass, I think I'm eating the grass and it's causing me to digest it. And then I'm uh, pooping out a raw beef. I put my crosshair on the grass and walk through it and I start getting raw beef in my inventory. This is so fast. Look at this. I could just collect all this walkthrough constantly. It's actually spawning on the ground right below me. I'm picking it up as soon as it spawns. Just constantly munching all of the grass. I want to see, take that piece of bacon. Is this raw beef going to work just as it should normally? Cook it up. Maybe we go the beef route instead of the bacon route because once we take out one cow, then we can farm as much raw beef as we want. But otherwise, we got to continue to take out pigs in order to get ourselves the bacon helmets. Oh, a perfectly good piece of steak. It is a little better than the actual uh, eating of the grass. The grass doesn't fill my hunger up. The steak does. Let's go ahead and bring that cow chest plate down though and test out what is next. Let's go find a chicken. Oh, perfect. See ya. What did we get? Are those boots? Feather boots. Okay, throw the feather boots on. These things look sweet. They do kind of look like I'm walking on a cloud. So what happens with the feather boots? Oh, I can jump much higher when I have the feather boots on. And then I slow fall down to the ground. Look at this. Super high jump at the slow fall down. Let's jump off of a hillside though. Go all the way up to the top here. I hope that this doesn't just take us out. Otherwise, that's gonna be not as useful as it otherwise could have been. Off the edge of the hill here. <laughs> we can jump from anywhere. We don't ever have to worry about taking damage ever again. Going up even higher. I'm pushing the limits of what's possible. Thank you, chicken, for your feather armor. Test it out. Oh, the long fall. <laughs> These feather boots are pretty sweet. It doesn't necessarily give us a bunch of armor or protection, all of this uh, mob armor, but it does give us some crazy- oh, I'm hungry. Wow. Did you guys just hear that? Oh, I'm hungry. The villager says I'm hungry when I walk in with the feather boots on and then they attack me. They're trying to eat me. These feather boots, I better take them off before this villager gets after me. Yep, he stopped chasing me down now. <laughs> take down the bacon instead. I'm gonna have to get those villagers back. 
Every single one of them tried to eat me. How come there's so many of them? They saw the chicken running around in the village and they all started congregating from all over the lands. So we're gonna have to get them back. But before we do that, let's test out the salmon right behind us. Wow, there was a lot of you guys. Come here. Oh, these look sweet. Salmon skin and their legs. Put them on. Anything normal? I, it's not like I'm losing oxygen out of the water now. If I go into the water, oh, I can go super fast. And I can jump really high into the air. In the water, I can swim insanely fast and jump super high out of the water. Hey guys, I'm one of you now. <laughs> I'm one of you guys. I have now decided to live the rest of my life with the salmon and the rest of the fish in the water. This is no wonder you guys spend so much time in here. This is pretty fun. I don't ever see you guys jump quite as high as I can jump though. The real test, however, is to find out, can we use the salmon skin to navigate in and out of the water very quickly or is it going to wipe us out instantly? Here it goes. One test, didn't make it to the land. It doesn't work like the feather boots. I should have put those on actually, then I would have been saved. We can combine armor. Okay, collect my stuff, collect my stuff, collect my stuff. If I use the salmon legs and, where are the feather boots? Got them. And the feather boots. Can we swim in and out of the water real fast? Woo! And the slow fall down, it works, it works. The feather boots with the salmon skin legs, A plus rating. Ooh, let's see what the squid gives us. Come on, you got anything good? What did we get? Oh, more legs, ink legs. If I'm wearing the ink legs, it just drops an ink sack constantly. Everywhere I walk, it just keeps dropping in ink sacks for me. Take the legs off, no ink sacks. Is there anything good about these other than you just spawn ink? Just a constant supply of ink sacks. No water breathing, no swimming faster underwater, no super jump. You literally just get unlimited ink sacks. Well, that was fun. Thanks for letting me join the club, but I don't want to hang out and just farm ink sacks all day long. We got to try something a little cooler out. It might be time for us to go and uh, get revenge on those villagers. There is an awful lot of them, but ooh, we could try a spider. What are you doing up there? Hey, down, come on. He dropped a diamond sword? What? There's another diamond sword over here. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Why is the spider dropping a diamond sword? I mean, can't really complain. It's pretty useful. I guess it's setting us up to take on the villagers. There's a lot though, so I don't know if we should go after all of them at a time. We gotta find one that we can pick off where the others won't see. Like this guy over here. One villager, what is he going to drop us? Uh, nobody see what's going on? Nothing to see here? See ya. Ooh. What are those? He dropped us villager planks? What can we do with the villager planks? We can craft a stick and a crafting table. So far, they could be used as normal. I'm sorry. Got, I wanna, I need more. No, don't run there. Woo. Hide, nobody saw anything. Nothing to see here. Everybody remain calm out there. Okay, we can craft the crafting table like normal. Let's put that down. Can we use the villager planks to create a villager chest? Ooh, wait, actually it is called villager chest. What's in? Loads of emeralds! We just used the planks to craft a chest and we got all of these emeralds. Look, come here. Give me more planks, more planks. Thank you, I'm sorry. More planks, back to the chest. I mean the crafting table. And then we use the villager planks to craft a villager chest and place the chest down and it's stacked with emeralds. Can we take these and trade them to the villagers? I know it's getting late, folks. Oh, he doesn't want to trade. He says, no, 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 no. He wants to sleep. Plus also, I just took out four of his buddies. So he's probably thinking, uh, not the best idea for me to be spending time with the dude who's running around with mob armor on and taking out the rest of our villagers.